Hey everyone, it's Desiree, day three, Spellbinder series, yay. For this one, we are going to focus on the amazing Paper Grace Club kit of the month, and we are going to create a beautiful 3D vignette Valentine's mailbox. Now, I'm going to take you through the steps on how I put this together. Now, I'm going to say it that way because I don't know if it's right. You know... We like to say that men, mainly, at least I say this about my husband, do, does not read directions before putting things together. Well, for this, I don't. I read directions on everything else, not the kids. So it'll be fun, but it does come out really cool. <laughs> all right, so let's have some fun. As always, all of the die cuts are completed off camera and I'm going to make my piles. So you can see, choose your colors. You need, you, you can see here the numbers that you need. Now I cut a lot of the envelopes. They're the ones off to the right. I cut three of the sentiments because I want to build them up. Tons of the hearts in the different shapes. Um, a few of the little tiny stamps. Now, for this one that I have here, you want to cut three of those in your color. And then on one of them, you're going to put the inset die in there to get the one that's on the left. For two of these, all right, I'm going to trim those tabs off the side. So I'm going to do that with the one that has the design that we've die cut out and a solid piece. <clears throat> you also want to cut with the outline so that you get that design in there. You want to cut an image from that as well. Now, that could be anything you want. I chose to use a satin mirror. I'm going to put a very thin line and some dots along this design area. You do not want to put your glue along the outside of this window, this hinge that's been created. You want that to stay in there and you want it to be flush. So I'm grabbing my scissors just to trim around that so that it won't get caught up. You've created a front door like you would have on a mailbox. Right? Right. All right. So now you want to grab one of the second colors that you have. And again, you're only putting glue on the very edge. You don't want to put it in the center. Now, where my thumb is, you could put a sentiment and emboss it. You could put a picture of someone that's really cute. Um, you can do whatever you want in that section. Because when the door opens, that's what the recipient is going to see. This is not like the other vignettes where the center pieces pull out to put your pictures or your sentiments on them. This is all one piece. All right, I've set that aside. Now, I've also added the strip along the bottom, which you could make regular crotch stock, and you can put a sentiment there, too, as well. Whatever you want to do. So I'm layering up the male um, sentiment or die cut there because I wanted that just to be a little bit higher and I'm going to place that on the front over that beautiful uh, flourish design that's there so you can see my colors I didn't choose the typical Valentine's cover I got some pinks going on in there but I really wanted the teal feel um, when it comes to this now this is where it gets fun so I'm using my double-sided tape and this is the extra tape from the card kit and I'm placing that on the tabs of your two side panels. Make sure you fold these first before you pull off the release paper. I'm just saying. Because this is a really strong double-sided tape. Um, I really like their double-sided tape. Very much so. Um, but you can see I pulled it off and now I've got to bend it. So you want to make sure that you're bending it to the wrong side. And that is going to go onto your outside. Now. When it comes to this piece, there's like little tiny points. See that on the top there? Those you want to the bottom. And they're going. this piece is going to line up along the long edge of it. 
for this last colored piece, remember you have to die cut three of those panels, you want to make sure you're also cutting the tabs off of this as well. All right. And now I'm going to place the second one. Now what you should also do is keep your release paper on the top. Yeah. I'm awesome that way. Then you can cut, you have to cut three more solid panels. See how now I'm cutting out this. So out of the colored ones, you will cut off all of your tabs. Just the tabs. Okay. On the three that you have to die cut that you can make another color. I chose white. I should have chose gray. But I was good with the white because it kind of made them pop. You need three of these to put in there. Now, as I was doing this, wow, I'm really rambling quickly here. But as I was doing this, I found something easy to do. Now, I'm sure somebody else came up with it. Is one, make sure you wiggle those tabs to have the break and take the pokey tool. I was a little hesitant on this one, but take that pokey tool and go into those cutouts and make them wider. Now I really go in and watch. They just go right in, sound effects and all. And then I can pull from the other side to snap it down. Yeah, here I go. Just take a pokey tool and just make those a little wider. And wow, does it make it so much easier. Because I, if you use a thick cardstock and you want to do that because so it has stability, so it has that firmness to stand up, it, you can now use your thick because that's a thin cutout. But just using a pokey tool, I love the Spellbinders tool in one because um, of all of the different attachments that we have. And you notice I put the release paper back on there because my hand was getting stuck on it. I'm just saying. Um, because I'm not ready to put that cover down yet. Because now I've cut all of these strips. Now you can cut as many as you want. Now I should probably have done this before I put all my layers in. <laughs> Again, I'm different. But it is easier for me to have the layers in there because I want these offset. I don't want these to to be even. I don't want them to be on top of each other. So I was okay with the layers already being in. And I'm just pushing down in the center. It's not destroying anything else that's going on when it comes to the sides. Because I've made sure that those, that those channels that are sticking out are locked in. I pulled them down so that they'll pull down in, onto those tabs. If that all makes sense any sense at all. You can see I have them going in different layers. So as I come to the front, they're being set lower and lower um, as, we, as we're coming towards the front. I believe I cut this 12 or 13 times, these strips. And I just kept them all the same length because again, these aren't being pulled up. You're not going to see these. Um, now I just checked the placement of them. So now what I'm doing, before I close my cover, I want to lay it flat. And this will go flat. It, this will not fit in a normal standard envelope, like a 5x7, I think it's got to go into. And I did not measure that. So on the cover, it comes with this little tiny circle. And I made sure that crossed over the opening just a hair, just a little bit. I'm layering up some of my hearts because there's three different sizes. Added a little bit of pink to the front, making sure that's stuck there. So I'm pinching that heart just underneath that circle, adding some glue, and you'll see why. That is going to be the mechanism at which that keeps this closed. I'm taking this piece and gluing it to the front. Now I will really <laughs> remove my release paper and just add this up to the front. I do like to use release paper or release paper. Wow. Double sided tape when I'm constructing those sides. It's quick and it's going to adhere and it's strong. You can use liquid glue. Just make sure that it dries really quick so that it can grab. I tried it using glue before. It was a mess. It was. <laughs> It's just a mess. 
So I now have that set off to the side, and now I'm creating three different toppers. So you can see the one topper, and yes, I forgot to put the vintage photo. Never fear, it's going to come in. You'll see, I'll show you again how I create those envelopes. Really simple, really quick. It's absolutely adorable. So for some, I'm going to have just the hearts that are layered together on the ends of these um, branches that are coming out. On other ones, I added the little tiny stamp image and I'm putting the vintage photo around that. And that's going to sit in between the hearts. So it's like a stamp coming out of the hearts. Um, on some of the hearts that I'm layering, I'm having all three layers where the one with the stamp, it's just two layers. Again, just something different when it comes to each of these images. I didn't want the images to be all the same when it came to this. Um, and I'm looking at my image now. Yes. Yeah, I have three different images. Now, the ones that go into the envelopes, I am doing three layers of the heart as well. So again, you can have a lot of fun. Create the images that you want to come off of this. Now, I set mine up really high. You don't have to set yours up that high. You could make it really low. But I just wanted to make sure that I had this level going on so that they could all be seen. I wanted all of them seen, you know, so it's like a bouquet, you know, that's coming out um, from the top of the mailbox. So you can see what these envelopes look like. So you fold over the bottom and you put your glue on that and then you make more glue going across. And as you're folding these over, you want to make sure that you're even along that bottom. And voila, you have an envelope absolutely adorable and I think it's great I did come in as I said with the vintage photo just to give them some definition again some shading so that you would be able to see them um, as they were hanging or as they're hanging there so these are great embellishments um, yeah I see a lot of potential for those just say um, and again, as always, with all of the pieces that I have, those extra bits, I do keep them. I put them in little tiny baggies and put them in my, my spare stuff, and they will last for the year. If I don't use them by the end of the year, I do get rid of them. Um, you know, again, I, I keep things for a year, and I do a clean out um, in between Christmas and New Year's so that I can try to have more space. It usually works. It's Most of the time it does not. I'm just saying. Um, it's just something that happens. <laughs> so now I'm just going to attach all of the different things, um, setting them on angles, not putting them straight on these things, but making sure that I've got this flow. I just turned this upside down, making sure that they're, you know, separated across. And I am working in fours, and I think I actually have 13, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was short one. Um, just creating those different elements um, so that each one can be visible. So now I'm working on the ones with the stamp, making sure that they're um, set apart. And again, create your own embellishments. You could have the stamp coming out of the envelopes. You could have just the envelopes. You could have cut pieces of paper just to put in your envelopes. Again, you could have a lot of fun on this. So this is a great decorator piece um, for somebody's desk um, to make them smile. And again, use whatever colors you want. This would look great with reds and pinks and grays and, and all of those colors. I just chose to go with a silver or an a teal um, kind of effect. But that's what that looks like. And I think it's cute here you, when you pull out the heart. That's exactly what that does. That holds that close, and you can put a sentiment in there, a picture in there. A little tiny love note could sit in there, which would be really cute. So again, just have fun with it. Enjoy. I hope you enjoyed the process video <laughs> that I created on how to construct 
your 3D Vignette Valentine's mailbox. Again, this is by Spellbinder, the Amazing Paper Grace Die Club Kit of the Month. And again, it is a Valentine's mailbox, so I think that is awesome. As always, everything will be linked down below in the video description to the gallery for more inspiration, their blog, their shop, and of course to all of the club kits that are available. They are starting to coordinate, so that looks really cool and will give you lots of options, even if you have multiple kits. So enjoy. Remember, smile, laugh as you craft, enjoy the process, but every day just try, be creative, just a little bit. Till next time guys, take care.